All right, so today I'm going to head to a place in Huntersville called Upscale Aquatics. Um, it's a really cool fish place. They sell a lot of fish, aquarium types of fish. And today I'm kind of hoping to uh, build a little nano tank to go on my desk. And I was thinking about putting some little cherry shrimp in there. Having some uh, cherry shrimp and a, a little small tank to go on my desk. I thought that'd be really cool. And uh, I'm hoping to get a bigger tank soon. Um, so then I can maybe transfer those shrimp into the bigger tank. Or, you know, something. I, I don't know quite yet. But uh, we're going to head to Huntersville. And then visit Upscale Aquatics. Like I said. And we'll go from there. Scale Aquatics and um, you know bought a few things while I was there bought some fish bought a couple neon tetras a whisker shrimp I believe or a ghost shrimp but I'm pretty sure it's a whisker fish or a whisker shrimp bought some uh, substrate um, just some black sand to go on the bottom of the tank some fish food while I was there because I didn't have any uh, a little banana plant that I think will go well in the tank little filter here, sponge filter. Um, so I figure, you know, with this tank I'll have to clean it even less, which is a plus. So uh, first off, this is my one little one gallon tank. Um, I got off of uh, offer up for like five bucks, which was it was for a beta fish. Um, so I'm gonna use this, and uh, it's my tank, and I got it. It came with the uh, aerator and uh, a light and hood and everything like that, so pretty good deal. So first off, we're going to take this right here, sand.
now uh, here's my little filter. It's a little sponge filter. Um, can filter up to 10 gallons of water. It's got these little rocks in the bottom of it to weigh it down and help filter. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this thing off right here. Take my aerator hose that came with the tank here. Pop that little stone right there off. Put that down over that. Run this back down like that. Call it good. Alright, so as you can see, I've added a about a half inch of uh, gravel in here. Don't really need much. I might add just a little bit more. But so this side is actually the back of the tank. So what I'm going to do is turn it around right quick so I can see what I'm dealing with. And I'm going to put this filter right there because. The hood right here, um, the notch for the hose right here is on this side. So, you know, I'll do it like that. So, what I ended up doing was uh, burying this filter a little, a little bit, help hold it in place a little better. So uh, I've added a few rocks in here, river rocks, um, to just, you know, put some stuff in the aquarium and uh, see how it goes from there. So I got my tank done and uh, got all my fish in there, all acclimated. So I got two little tetras right there, there's a shrimp there, and over here is... Other shrimp. And then I uh, printed out a piece of green paper to put back there to kind of give it like a background just for temporary to see if I like it or not. If I like it green like that or not. And everything. So this has been a fun little project. Um, I enjoyed it. Really looking forward to having some f shrimp and uh, fish right here at my desk. So yeah. Excited to see how this all turns out. Got my hood on and everything, light turned on. So yeah.